What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Big Apple Baseball Banter here with Elias. Uh, obviously, we had the awesome news about the Francisco Lindor trade to the Mets. That's why I got my stuff on. Uh, and it another trade rumor popped up. It's about Chris Bryant. So, Chris Bryant, I like the player. He's a good player, but I don't think we should trade for him. Um, the thing with him is it's not really all about the player. He's kind of been on a steady decline recently. He's still a good player. I know he had an awful year last year. You kind of kind of have to take the 60 game season with a little bit of a grain of salt, a little bit of grain of salt, but my issue with him is that this he's going into a contract year. So how are you going to pay all these guys? So you're going to have to pay Lindor is your number one priority, get him extended. Then Conforto, you're paying DeGrom big money and he has an opt out coming up. I think soon he might take that. You might have to pay him even more. But by the time I think he'll be up in age, you don't have to do that. Then you if you have to trade Marcus, you might have to extend Marcus Stroman if you want to do that. Or and and or Noah Syndergaard, he's coming up for a contract. Two guys in contract years, so we are fortunately have a really young lineup that you don't have to pay all these guys. But and Mets still might get Springer, so you're paying big money to Springer, Lindor, Degrom, Stroman, Bow, uh, Stroman, and uh, Syndergaard, and then Conforto eventually. But I don't know if he would make any. I don't know when his you know big money would start kicking in. I don't know when he becomes a free agent. Um, and then you got your other young guys to, to pay. So obviously one of those guys is you're probably gonna have to let one of them walk. I would let Stroman walk. I would I rather keep Syndergaard over Stroman. Although you can get Stroman for way cheaper than Syndergaard, um, in my opinion. So Chris Bryant, it's a good player. I also like JD Davis a lot. Um, now I know defensively he isn't great. He improved drastically last year. Twenty nineteen he was horrific defensively at third base and that caused him to move out to left field and he sucked out there too and then this past year he started out on the left was awful there they tried him out at third and I remember that this one game against the Nationals he played a good defensive game he was okay he wasn't he, he was slightly below average but the dude improved a lot so that shows signs he's got a super strong arm and you know he showed decent fundamentals there so with Lindor too platinum lover that's going to help him out a lot because he's going to, you know, be responsible for less. When you got Ahmed Rosario playing next to you, yeah, you're, you're both people suck at defense. So, and you know, Jimenez was a great defender, but Lindor is a better defender than uh, Jimenez. So, I would say no to Chris Bryant. It's kind of going into the Mets financial situation, but the the number one priority should be now is extending Lindor is now our number one priority. And I guess this might be a bit longer. I'll talk quickly, go over a few other moves the Mets need to make. So. Yeah, extend Lindor like now, <laughs> um, and which they're gonna do. There, there's no way they traded that much. Which I don't think they even traded that much. I think they got. I, I think the Indians got fleeced. Not gonna lie, I would have traded or sorry the Cleveland baseball team. <laughs> I know that's not what we call them. It's just a joke here on the channel. Um, and Carrasco, I with Carrasco, I thought this was that was a fair trade for just Lindor. So the fact you get Carrasco too is incredible. But Going back to the other moves that need to be made, I really want to sign a guy like Taiwan Walker. It's kind of a lo really low-risk, high-reward. He won't be too expensive. He had a great year last year coming off of Tommy John, and you can probably sign him to a two-year contract not pay him too much. I don't want freaking Steven Matt touching a baseball this year. I don't care what James McCann says about how good he can be in the bullpen. I don't even care if he's, you know, I don't even want to see him in the bullpen. Honestly, he was so bad last year. I mean, God damn, can we move on already? Well, I swear, it's because this dude's from the area and and had and hit a bunch in his debut. Like, who gives a shit, man? I can't. I don't want him. I don't want. I don't, I don't know why we tendered him a contract. Him and Gasell, man. I was like, what the hell are we doing, man? But yeah, Taiwan Walker's a guy I really want to look to improve, uh, look to sign. But now the priority should also be signing bullpen. So we need to get at least one big bullpen signing. Liam Hendricks, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go for him. I love the player, great player. I'd get a lefty because we don't have a single lefty in this bullpen right now, other than fucking Daniel Zamora. So Brad Hand should be the absolute priority, and then I would look for a guy either kind of, uh, you know, the S tier relievers are like Liam Hendricks, Brad Hand, and then the tier below, I would look to sign one of those guys. So I would look to sign either Shane Green, Alex Colome, or Jeremy Jeffress, one of those guys. So it is. And we already got Trevor May. Just make that bullpen good, man. Because, you know, you already got a great rotation. Make the bullpen good, too. And we need guys who, you know, defense is kind of weak. So hopefully guys who strike guys out. That's what I like about 
Brad Hand. That's why Alex Colomay would be a bit of a concern. He's not really the biggest strikeout guy. Still a great pitcher, but that's just a few thoughts, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, Mets fans, make sure you're celebrating this trade because this is going to be kind of a hot take I'll end up here. Right now, as things, lineups currently are, as rosters currently are, the Mets are a better team than the Yankees, and I don't I don't really think it's an argument, to be honest. So uh, you might say I'm biased. Say whatever you want. Uh, rotation, it's not even close. Bullpen, it's pretty close. And lineup, I think it's close. It's the amount of times that damn Yankees strike out so much. But, um, uh, Ben, if you're seeing this, uh, best team in New York. Let's go Mets, baby. See you guys next time.